we have Tyler Glass now waiting in the wings. And the one thing everyone the- I'm sure has always wanted to know is Tyler, can you grow a beard? No. I have really? like prepubescent facial hair. It's embarrassing. <laughs> You should not admit that. You have glorious uh, hair, my friend. We would have believed that you could have the whole... Every, we, you have great hair. We would have believed anything right there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's all on the top of my head. I don't have any on my face. I can grow like a little a mini stash, but it's pretty bad. It's not good at all. I think yeah. you should do it, though. Wait, do you get do you get better hair product in L.A. than you will in Tampa? So, like, you just signed, like, for $135 million. Congratulations. Do you get better hair product now? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't gone yet. I haven't seen what they're what they have to offer in the home clubhouse. But I was working with that uh, like the two for one at the Rays clubhouse. So I don't know. Maybe I'm assuming, but we'll we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, the Rays clubhouse. They have the is it the the three in one that you use? Three in one. That's what it is. Well, they they upgraded at one point to the two in one, but for the most part, it's the three in one. But like they have this new bottle that's got the double, which is kind of a contradictory type of thing. I don't know how you can have a shampoo and a conditioner in the same bottle, but. It is what it is. It works. It's fine. You have to tune in later because I'm going to tell my three-in-one shampoo, body wash, and conditioner story, but it's not It's not for here when we have a big league guest on. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, but it's a very raised three-in-one shampoo and conditioner story. But anyway, All right, I'll tune congratulations. In. You Thank look you. richer. You look richer. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm super excited. I'm glad it's with the Dodgers. Like, Especially on like negotiating, there was a small list of teams, and they were definitely at the top of it. So I'm just glad I can go back home and just see family and everything, and just it's like a familiar sight too. Going all the games growing up and just being able to play on the team is pretty surreal. So, how does that process go down? Because you said there's a small small group of teams, but you know you're kind of talking about it like it's free agency. You weren't a free agent, but kind of is that how it kind of went down? I think it was like a more lucrative trade. Like if I was willing to negotiate with the team in extension, if I was willing to be like, okay, if I get traded to this team, then I'll have a window to talk about extensions. That was kind of the only thing I could control. And so it was like a small list of like people that were interested in trading me. I don't think anyone was super interested in or was, weren't willing to give up a lot of prospects for one year. So there was like just a few teams that I said, if they want to trade, like I would talk about an extension for them. And then that also kind of protects me from getting traded to like, a team I really don't want to go to. So I was kind of just hedging my bets there. I didn't want to get traded to like a a one year to some bad team or bad place to pitch or something like that. (laughs) Okay. So how does that, I know you said how it worked, but what's the negotiating window? Do the Rays call you and say, Hey, we got a trade for you to LA where we know you want to go. You have 18 minutes to get an extension done and the clock starts now go like a game show. Or do they give you like a 72 hour window? How, how does that work? Because I honestly, in baseball, like you hear about this in football and you've heard about this in basketball, but this is the first time I've really ever heard about this in baseball. So what was the no- window like to getting it done? And was your agent just calling you every five minutes like, hey, what about this? What about this? What about this? Because I, I want to know what happened. Yeah. So when they do the trade, I think you like have an understanding beforehand that I would do an extension and you have that 72 hour window to negotiate. So it was just a lot of back and forth with my agent and he's got some free agents this off season as well. So it was like a, he was super busy. I could tell he was getting to work, but yeah, we just call and then we'd say something and then they'd say something and it was kind of just talking back and forth. And then we ended up coming up with a deal and then now I'm a Dodger. And when in all of that, did you get the Shohei Otani video? With after the, in that window, I think it was like whether I was going to do the extension or not. I think that was like dependent on the trade. And then I got it. Well, I don't even remember when it was. I woke up one morning though, and then my GM sent it to me. And there was like a translation under it. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Like this is this is adding a lot of points. Uh, and just being on his team and then having him send me a video was, was pretty sick. I was, it was a nice morning to wake up to that. Yeah, did, did you, you keep that video? Say again? Did you keep that video? Like, is that yeah, is that it. saved? Did you like hit the little icon next to it and like save it to your? To yeah, your it's thread? in my camera roll for sure. <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna send that to somebody else and be like? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was in Japanese too, so I could. For all I know, it could have just been like a random video about something. But I added like a <laughs> translation paragraph, so I don't know. That is a good <laughs> idea, though. Yeah, try and get someone else in the future years. See if they'll send a video. It's a good idea. That's what I mean. You could you could <laughs> reuse that. Like, hey, look what Shohei's sending you, and then put the translation. Hey, 
Mike Trout, we would love to trade <laughs> for you. And you are my favorite player. So I would love to. Oh, wow. Look what Glass now sent me. Shohei wanted to make a video. <laughs> it's a good idea, actually. I got it on my phone. So I got, I got all sorts of plans now. Perfect. You could send it to me and just wish me a Merry Christmas. Be like, yeah. Eric, Merry Christmas. <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> I think the more it circulates, too, I think the truth will get out. And then people will start feeling like I'm scamming them. No, 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 no. Not from yeah. you. You, can, you no, can't you scam go. anybody with that hair. So. <laughs> possible. Well, I want to know, who were the other teams? You, I just I mean, got it through, like, like <laughs> the rumors and stuff. Calm down. My dog's sitting here. Um, I, I heard Cardinals, Dodgers, Cubs, Reds, Texas a little bit. I think like some New York teams in there. I really didn't like think too much about it until my agent told me like what was what he was hearing and like what my GM was hearing and stuff. I think it was a long list of teams, but I don't know how serious any of them were. Like I know there was a few that stepped up and they were like going back and forth, but I know the Dodgers were the most aggressive or like So I no think... Cincinnati. No you weren't going to Cincinnati cuz it's too, a bad <laughs> place to pitch. Chicago right. me <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. So it was pretty I like much Dodgers. I like yeah, but... I have family there and Okay, yeah. but it's pretty much Dodgers or bust from the list you just read off. I that I wanted to go there for sure. That was okay, like you, yeah, you should have just said, "Listen, you went you went to the you went to the Rays and said, listen, if you don't trade me to the Dodgers, I'm not fucking going. And if you do, yeah. I'll sign an extension because guess what? <laughs> My hair is Southern California cool. Whatever that jacket thing you have on, it looks like Southern California. <laughs> I mean, it's Patagonia it looks I like mean, a Patagonia. He's crushing it. I did buy this in Southern California though, so I don't even know what it is, but I saw it and I liked it, so I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, you got to show us the dog because this is the whole Shohei Otani news cycle. There was like a sub news cycle about his dog. I don't know if you followed and we finally yeah, learned. So would you like to keep your dog's name a state secret and you can it's eventually not even, release it? Or it's not even my dog. It's my girlfriend's family dog. Here you go. Say hi. <laughs> her name's Gracie. So we're just chilling. I'll just take her on walks. I'll come just when they're gone, I'll I'll take care of her. Now she's just here annoying me during an interview. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you should have uh, you should have kept that a secret. You should have leveraged that for something. Shohei really like he plays it close yeah. to the best. True, I know I blew it. Maybe next you year. Know, I, when I get, you know I get a new say, dog. You know they say owners look like their dogs. That thing, that dog has the same hair as you do. It does. The ears flop over the same way as the hair. <laughs> it's also, dude, it's a three in one situation too. Just scrub it down. That's why the hair looks the same. <laughs> Three and one on the dog. Yeah. <laughs> the three and one is the real deal. But what I want to know is, is that jacket, was that your first big purchase since you became a free agent? No, I've had this for years. I got this in, where was I? I think we are playing the Angels. I was actually with Brasso and Brett Phillips like a few years ago. I forgot, oh. I, we went down to like the little beach area and I was cold. I didn't bring a jacket. I forgot to pack one. So I grabbed it. It was a while ago though. What intrigues you about going to the Dodgers? You're like, you know, you, you, you mentioned back home. You mentioned, but there's, you, you can make any city a home. Right. What really intrigued you about going to the Dodgers? I, I mean, the weather obviously is huge. Um, I'm familiar with the area. A big one was my brother lives in Santa Barbara. Him and his wife live in Santa Barbara, and they're about to have a kid, so I'll be an uncle. So it'll be nice to be around them more. My family, I have a lot of friends down there. Um. And I mean, Shohei signing there was pretty big for me too. And it's a good pitcher's ballpark. There were so many pros, very little cons. Um, but I think just it's like familiar. And I think as a little kid, always going to the games and like dreaming of being a baseball player for the Dodgers. And it kind of just hit me like, this is a no brainer. I want to go back and play for my hometown team. There's stuff that comes with that going back home. That's what, like can be a little annoying, but like I said, I think the positives outweigh the negatives by like a large margin. So I was just ready to sign. All right. I always see you when you come through New York, which you won't get to do as much of now that you're mm. not in the AL East. And when you come through New York, you play chess. So mm -hmm. have you located any public chess in the Los Angeles, greater Los Angeles area? Have you, do you know anyone on the team who plays chess? Maybe you can convince Shohei to take up chess. What are your chess I don't know. Players? I'm sure if they have, like, because there's always, not always, but there's chess boards in a lot of away clubhouses. Like, I started up, again, I was in chess club when I was in elementary school, and then I stopped playing, and then I got back into it when we were in Cincinnati in, like, 2016 or 17. So there's clubhouses that have it, and guys will just play and whatnot, but I haven't looked up, like, places to go. Um, 
but I might, I don't know. I think I'll, like when I go on the road, finding places, but for the most part, I'll just play on my phone and like stuff like that. But if I do see something public, like in St. Pete, there was a few places, um, but I haven't really been like going to town. I just play on my phone for the most part now. What's your expectation? I know players make goals preseason. What's your expectation for yourself for innings this year? I want to have a normal inning. I am not on an inning limit at this point. Like after that injury was taken care of, like even last year, it was the beginning of the season. I was going to be on an inning limit. I was only able to throw like 22 starts, kind of exactly how much I threw. And I threw 120 innings, not including the playoffs. So I should be able to throw as many as I can. I know the Dodgers generally start their guys out slow and give them a couple extra days. So the goal is like a realistic however like what you what is it used to be like 200 it's more realistic like 180 to 200 i want to that's what i want to do it's all dependent on like how much i'm allowed to go early but since i got that surgery and the way my arm has felt from previous years i don't think that'll be any issue at all like to end this year my arm felt great and i could have thrown a lot more so tyler when you were negotiating with the dodgers did they come to you with like a show hey type of plan say hey we'll give you one million and then we'll defer 135 million till 20 years from now or was it was that never that was only a Shohei specific deal uh kind of so there was a certain amount I wanted in the beginning for a certain amount of years but the only issue is there's like a uh AAV or like a CBT tax to like whatever it was so I worked with them to make sure we didn't uh like go over or any sort of like kind of make room for other people and not jump into the next tax bracket so we ended up formulating the deal to where I didn't have to defer any money but previously the amount i was thinking about for less years we had to defer some and i didn't want to do the deferral they deferred enough so i was like i'm, I'm gonna not defer and then it ended up working out and um i got it too to where like there's a little bonus in the beginning it's like while well, i'll be in florida and then but yeah i ended up not doing any deferrals or anything like that do you have any thoughts when you're doing these negotiations and extension where you would have been a really coveted free agent. Do you have any thoughts of like future pitchers coming down? Cause you you always hear that when we're, when you're playing is, Oh, you know, do it for the next guy or don't, don't sell yourself short. Not saying you sold yourself short at all. It's a really nice contract. But do you think about that when you're going into those negotiations or is that talked about with you and your agent? Yeah, I think so. Like, I guess potentially there's more future if i were to just go into free agency and like see how much i could get there's definitely an argument to be had there especially i guess if you look at it that way like the people before you like the union and whatnot but there's also a risk reward on the other side as well like you really don't know what what can happen and it was i think for me it wasn't necessarily about making as much as i possibly could it's more about being somewhere that i really enjoy being like with the rays i was i loved staying there and i loved being with the organization and i loved having a life in Tampa and like, it felt like home. And I know it would be that same way with the Dodgers to where I, it wasn't necessarily about like making them. I just know like, I'll be happy on and off the field. I'm making enough money, but I do think there's an argument there to be had, like, I guess for the guy before you, but I, in my brain, I was like, this is too good to pass up. I want to be a Dodger and deal. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do the whole recruiting pitch for you besides show a you video? Did they bring in Freddie and Mookie and, Will Smith and Dave Roberts and everyone else in LA. And then are you a part of the recruiting pitch for Yamamoto? Do they call you in and say, Hey bro, we need you to do a zoom in your killer jacket with your badass hair. <laughs> try to get Yamamoto in. No, I wasn't. No, I think I already, it was, I already knew, you know, it was just sort of like the, the Shohei thing. And then I know they were all there before when I was like talking about the extension, but we had to wait a couple of days. I couldn't go into the field until it was finalized. And I think they all left beforehand. But I was, I, there was no convincing that needed to be done. It was more about like the negotiations of like the contract making sense. Um, I haven't been like in on trying to get Yamamoto. I would love to, but I have the same agent as him as well. So I always try to get like little details, but my agent's like super, he's keeping it like the negotiations are the negotiations. I don't really like pry too much, but I, that would be so sick if we got him as well. Like I'll try and send my agent a couple of messages, but I think uh, he's got so many teams on him right now. Like whoever he chooses, it's a win. Well, what would be your pitch? Like they, if they were sending a Tyler Glasnow, Shohei Otani style video to Yamamoto, give us your best Yamamoto come to the Dodgers pitch. You'd have the best life on and off the field. It's like just the weather, like I said before. You get to play with Shohei Otani. 
ever there's like you can do a lot of things like on the field and there's a lot of off market opportunities or like outside of the field there's you'll never be bored you know like the fans are good it's not like a super like heavy negative influence it's not like the t city or the media is not really wishing for you to do bad it's a lot more everyone wants to do well it's clearly a lot of big media and like it can stuff can go sideways at times but it's like for overall i always remember it being like good media pretty positive and people just love baseball there all right so you left the rays and you went to the dodgers do you feel like you haven't been there you haven't even been to spring training yet from an outsider's viewpoint when you were with the rays do you feel like they're run similar to the rays but just with a ton of cash yeah, it's the, they're just the rich race for sure. There's obviously differences. And I think like the amount of resources that I think so much of it's like the R&D and the data collection and like our R&D our team with the Rays is like 45 people deep, I'm pretty sure. So it's like bigger than our roster. It's, it's like cubicles of number crunching. And like I've talked to a lot of the guys and they're smart and they know baseball. And it's just, I think, very like algorithm based, whatever that means. And I think the Dodgers are the same way. There's a, there's a mix of like the old school like see it with your eyes mixed with a lot of data and whatnot so i do think there's like very many similarities and i think when i was talking to the, the front office it reminded me and like i know eric and andrew the two like G, whatever the job title gm they're all different now but like the two basic people who run the team are good friends and they are very similar in the way that they think so it is like andrew kind of built that with the rays and it's it seems very similar what will you yeah. miss from the rays you said that you did build a life, a home in, in St. Mm -hmm. Pete. Anything you'll miss from the team, the city, the organization? Oh, I mean, all my friends, um, like my girlfriend, my girlfriend's family. Obviously, she'll be with me a lot in L.A. And like just being around there, being like pretty comfortable around here. Like even all the little things like the restaurants you go to and like your route to work. And like even in the off seasons, I guess I'll be back in the off seasons, but just like the, even the little things like driving to work and like knowing the people, the staff, even when you walk in like the security guards and everything, it just becomes very familiar. Um, I like, and I really enjoyed how unique the Rays were in terms of it's, it's very unique in that you go to work and it's very relaxed and everyone's having a good time. And the coaching staff is just super chill, really good at their jobs. And it's just a fun place to be, but the Dodgers have that similar feel. I'm not super like, I, I don't know. Like I welcome kind of going all over the place and playing. Like I'm not very much a homebody, but you do kind of develop your routine, but I'm, I'm looking forward to going like the first trade. When I went from pirates to Tampa, I loved the trade. I loved going to meet a whole new team. Like I think the best part of baseball is, are, is like meeting the people and meeting new teammates and all the different personalities. And it's cool that I get to go meet a whole different set of people. Tyler, when you go to LA, guess what? It's not going to be the trop. You're going to be outside. So you didn't say you're going to miss the trop. So I will I will miss the consistent weather of the trap. Like pitching. Well, the I mean, you're going to LA for God's sake. It's not like you're going <laughs> exactly. you're not going to Colorado. Yeah. I said the weather was part of the reason I went to LA as well. But I I will say the stadium has more people in LA. Uh, that is the big Just thing. just a few. Just yeah. a few more people. <laughs> exactly. It's a few more people. I do think like I've always like playing like the surface and the stadium and like the speaker and center's always been like when I go there as a visitor, I'm like, I gotta be here long term. It's awesome. There's there's some things I'll miss about the trap as well, but it is gonna be a completely different experience. A lot of a lot different. So I'm excited. And the media listen, the media in LA is all hunky dory, right? But I mean you also have some protection in LA. You got some guy named Shohei, yeah. another guy who's won an MVP named Mookie, another guy who's won an MVP named Freddie. You know, you got Will Smith, you got Max Muncy. So, you know, it's not Tyler Glasnow in the Rays. It's Tyler Glasnow and his team of future Hall of Famer slash MVP slash All-Stars. So, listen, if the media comes after you, I'd just be like, go talk to Freddie. Oh, wait, go talk to Mookie. Go talk to Shohei. You know, that, that, take all the pressure off of you. Yeah, exactly. I thought about that a little bit, so we'll, we'll see. I'm sure – I mean, you're going to have to face the media wherever you go, but it is true. It's, we have, like, such a sick team, and everything I've heard, too, is – the people in the clubhouse are very like people always used to say like the GMs construct the team of like if you're a high character guy and part of me before was like oh, I think if the guy's good I don't think anyone really cares but it does seem to be really important like before I went to the Dodgers it was this big like we vetted you we talked to everyone like so many people that they talked to and just wanted to make sure I'm not a, like a dick and the Rays were the same way to where the the Dodgers clubhouse is very orchestrated around like 
good people also really good players like they don't have any like cancery type people in the in the clubhouse and i think that makes a winning baseball team so that's honestly what i'm most excited about too they're really good but also really cool people are you guys a super team i would say i think that you could characterize this as a super team it's a lot of really good players for sure why would why would you hesitate to say it's not a super team i don't know did i hesitate Uh, (laughs) you didn't hesitate a little bit? No, I I mean, I, wow. I could say it's a super team for sure. It's a lot of a lot of good people. I mean, like from top to bottom, anywhere, everywhere. The depth that they have, too, like they're similar to the Rays of their minor leagues just are stacked. I heard the coaches in the minor leagues are good. They do a really good job of like mixing the old school with the new school and like letting guys know what they should work on early in the minor leagues to get to the big leagues and succeed. And I think a lot of times the minor league guys come up there and, and dominate. So from top to bottom, depth. Phone call, rookie. Rookie Uh-oh. mistake. Dodgers, phone call. Dodgers, Dodgers contract, raise, raise Wi-Fi. No, that's a phone call, isn't it? Normally when that's it goes black call. like that, it's a phone call. Oh, yeah, it was a phone call. Yeah, yeah, it was a phone call. call. Rookie, rookie mistake. We're, we're giving you all this pub for being a vet now. and Rookie mistake. Didn't put on no disturb. It was Shohei. It was Shohei calling. You can put him on speakerphone for us. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'll call him back. You need to send us a Shohei video. You need to send us the Shohei video. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to keep that out. He seems to be relatively private. I'll talk to him if, if he's cool with it. Like, even all the signing stuff, he seems to keep everything under wraps. So if I'm like, do you care? I'll send it out. But if it's, you, your if you guys, you know, it's your video now. True. your video now. True. You don't have to be a good guy anymore. They already vetted yeah. you. They said you're not a dick. So Yeah. Exactly. And they already signed you. So you're good now. You yeah. can do whatever you want. Yeah, that's all guaranteed. You're right. I might as well. I'll just start being a dick now. <laughs> <laughs> Did it come with one of those little, like, this video cannot be released or disseminated without the express written consent of Major League Baseball? Yeah. They always do it. That's, like that. that's what he's got to get. He's got to get his very own, this video cannot be released without the express written consent of Shohei Otani tag that he can put yeah. on a all of his videos. He's going to be there for 10 years, so he'll he'll be able to do that in the future when he's recruiting. So. Hey, when we had Gavin Lux on the other day, he wouldn't even – we're like, hey, Gavin. He's like, Shohei's in the weight room. We're like, walk down there. And Gavin's like, oh, no, I'm, I don't want to – I don't want to ruin his his workout. He's in there squatting 700 pounds. I don't want him to – this was, I think, the day of the uh, press conference introducing him. So, I don't know – you know, Ga- oh, another phone call, Shohei. <laughs> we'll wait. Well, I mean, there's so many, so many superstars for him to get no. calls from. Oh, yeah. let, me throw on, let me throw on do not disturb. Wait, 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 wait. That one was Yamamoto. He saw your pitch. He's watching yeah. live. Yeah. He's, got, he's got some follow-up questions. So that was Joel Wolf calling, saying, "Hey, Tyler, let's not. We don't talk about Fight Club, okay?" Yeah, that someone called. like, "You talking about Shelly right now? Keep it under wraps. Don't be, don't be on the on your cell phone." <laughs> that was Yamamoto. Yamamoto said, "I'm signing with the Dodgers right now. If I can have your jacket, <laughs> uh, deal. Let's do it. I'll go get another one." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all out. Yeah. All right. Well, then maybe I'll no. You can have the jacket. It's fine. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, all right. We we've we've kept you kind of long, but also you kind of kept us waiting a little bit too, Tyler. So yeah, I did two times the camera. <laughs> yeah. Are you in Florida right now? Is that? Yeah, you, I'm in Florida. in Florida. Hey, tell them it's chilly down here today, Tyler. It's freaking freezing down here. It's like 55. That's freezing. Where are you? Are you in Florida? I'm in Orlando. Oh, well, there you go. It's cold here, too. Hence the big, the puffy jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it gets under 60 in Florida. We bust out the puffy jackets. For real. Dude, the last, like, few weeks it's been cold. I kind of like it, though. It's a nice change of pace. When you, like, get out of your house and, like, walk down the street and sweat and have to shower again, that's not that fun. So it's mm-hmm. been good. Kind of California weather recently. Yeah, see, we're getting you prepped for your big move. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Are you going house on the hills in California? Are you going to go, like, Hollywood Hills or... I've been looking. Oh, I, I actually went down recently to go look at it. I went to like seven different houses and there was nothing that I, I like loved, I guess. And I keep, I talked to a lot of players and a lot of dudes saw, talk about like, I bought a house here the first year and then moved the second year. And like a lot of people did that. So I think I'm going to rent and just see what like, uh, what area I like and maybe like jump around and just go see what it's like and traffic and everything like that. I have some areas lined up to maybe rent in, but I have to kind of figure that out. But yeah, it's all pretty good spots around there. I have one more thing before we let you go. I mm-hmm. think I saw, correct me if I'm wrong, that in your introductory press conference, you admitted that you were a Dodgers fan who arrived late and left early. Mm-hmm. 
Everyone got- does. That's, people always talk about how, like, what and how dare you? But I'm like, okay, first of all, it's a school night. I got to wake up. <laughs> and you get, like, getting there from Santa Clarita, it's, like, technically on the map, like, 45 minutes away. But it's, like, an hour and 45 when there's a game or when there's any traffic at all. Because the games are at 7. So you have to leave around whatever, 5. So you get there, you show up a little bit late. And then the traffic leaving out of Dodger Stadium is pretty rough. And then getting back home. So you end up getting back home, like, I don't know, like close ish to midnight or like 1130. So we would have to go and then leave depending on who I would go with. And if it was a weekend game, we'd get there early and leave late. But if it was a like a, a weekday game, we had to, you had to go. It was just so late. All right. Well, Dodgers fans uh, don't show up too late. Cause you got yeah, to see the starting pitcher. Guys don't go as deep as they used to. You have to show up on time. If you want to see the starting pitcher. Tyler, thank you so much for giving us some time so soon after signing the contract. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me on.